Ooh, no. <laughs> And you know what? Speaking of speaking of rebel, the final was between two Norse teams. So, <laughs> uh. oh, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a yeti, so that's that's good. He doesn't have a claw, but he does have two piling on mighty blow and two mighty blow. So and dirty, two dirty players, so he can he can just roll dice and win, can't he? Twelve zero one. Wow. <laughs> After doing VIP Kurgo. <laughs> yeah, Pedro. Oh man. Uh, yeah, pretty decent record. Amazing record, isn't it? Twelve zero one. Amazing record. So um, that's disappointing. <laughs> disappointing that he knows how to play blood ball. <laughs> you know, I could have got somebody who didn't have a clue, but instead I've got my bogey team with an amazing record. So. <laughs> I will only play Woodies if Spartaco plays again because they're 1800 with a reserve so the Woodies are in good shape the uh, Dwarves are only 1500 though so <laughs> a couple lads it's like the Necro that was just Orcs constantly like Necro, Necro would just Orcs 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 every game they, yeah and they used to be didn't they when there was uh, in Living Rubik 4 when they were like uh when they were called something other than inducements, there was a palm coin. Um, so I would like, you know, that would be pretty good. It would make pl make playing down against Kill Chaos a lot more palatable, wouldn't it? Something the Cyanide to consider, seeing as they're not going to go, they're not going to follow Blood Bowl 2016 and remove Palming Arm. Um, ah, damn, can't, can't get a... Uh, Wizard. I would have scummed a wizard, 100%. Babe's not worth it. Scumming a apple. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, why not? He's got four mighty blow. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> What's the stat on that? Pretty low. It gets outrageous, doesn't it? Just doubling gets outrageous um, pretty quickly. But a very, 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 very big number. Scum of bribe, nah. I think, see, bribes work if, you, if you're winning, but not if you're losing. So I'd, <coughs> I'd rather take, a, take an apple, which will help me if I'm losing, rather than something that I'm going to win. Yeah, full Norse, ex exactly, playing against Norse, you know. <laughs> all my guys are armor 9, all his guys are armor 7, and we already know who's going to get outbashed. <laughs> oh, bleh. Kick off return, it's alright for Dwarves. Yeah, the, the previous runner had it. Um, I think pretty much Dwarves is the only niche. I mean, I guess some thrower types can take it. But dwarves obviously start with sure hands and don't want to take any throwing skills, so I have to block leader, there's nothing else, is there really? Right. I like I like the setup though of the team. It looks awesome, doesn't it? It actually just looks awesome with the three rookies and then all these Oh I should actually uh set up in a kind of uh, stopping frenzy kind of way, shouldn't I? Could I don't I don't want these guys to be able to be here. Should let's put them here. Uh, yes, Felina, but. You know, gathering the ball and protecting it um, is super important, isn't it? It's it's completely different to kick, basically. I, I think it's completely different to kick. Um, kick is trying to get lucky, and kickoff return is trying to minimise bad luck a bit. And uh, 
you know, so yeah, completely, completely different, I would say. I would say. Um, I, I would never take it on, like, a player that could take something better, you know. Um, like, you know, if, you, if you're talking like a Wood Elf thrower, block, dodge, sidestep, sure hands, that's four skills. W what would, would I take, kick off return as the fifth one? No, I'd probably find something else to take, but... You know, whereas dwarves are just like literally block. Oh, leader, leader. So that's five. That's five normals on a on a on a wood elf thrower. You can't even think about taking kick off return. Whereas on a on a dwarf, you like block, leader, kick off return. What what else do you take? Fend or something? Fend's pretty crap, isn't it? Fend only works when you get hit. Might not even work in the entire game. Might 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 take an effect, but might not do anything in the entire game. So yeah, kick. I, I really don't like kick. Kick to me is just trying to get lucky. It is. It is good. Obviously, it, it's good for stopping two turns and one turns. It does. It does give you like you know like if 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 Ducky had had kick against the uh, underworld, he could have made it very hard to to get a uh, throw teammate. Really hard to make throw teammate one turns work. And uh, non elf one turns is actually quite good against as well. I could put two stand firms here, couldn't I? Could guard the line up now. He seems he didn't. Seems he actually didn't. Uh, seems he didn't commit guard to the LOS. Yeah, it, it will. It will be a touchback. You can guarantee it's going to be a touchback, but... <laughs> Pro... The, the console players were obsessed by Pro for some reason. Oh yeah, I can't do that. He doesn't have any guard at all. So he blitzes him and then assists to one dice. Oh, I don't hate this. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it's a touchback. Guaranteed to hit the three hour of eight, yeah. Yeah, there was things I could have done. Maybe I shouldn't have done that near the ball. Maybe I should have just put him in here and made this stronger. Oh, I've been a bit stupid here. Hopefully he doesn't notice. Well, he's 12 and 1, so he, he probably will notice. And I'll probably get banged on. Looking at his initial move, he has seen it. Oh, God damn it. Yep. So he's a one dice into two dice, to two more dice to serve. And if he fails, he just he just gets to pawn, doesn't he? So, yeah, he saw the surf instantly. God damn it. Um, no rugby 82, they just looked like a kind of easy team to qualify with when uh, when the Wood Elves were in trouble. <laughs> no, no, no rest of development, he isn't troubling. No, no he isn't troubling, he might be off the trouble. Oh, he did it with this guy. Oh, yeah, okay. But that's GFIs. I'd rather just do it at one dice. He just powered anyway. Okay, so we didn't even go for the surf. All right. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna surf. Um, you know, could have pushed him there, then there, and then he could have surfed him. But he didn't want to do that. Oof, lucky, lucky me. 
Lucky me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Arrested Development. Yeah, the old, the good old, the good old rank there. Uh, cherry pickers, brutal cherry pickers. It is a lot of dice to surf, but um, it's the only way he's going to ever remove a dwarf, isn't it? Not really. Of course, he's got padding on that. Blow. He actually went for the. Uh, he went for the, the he went for the uh, not blocking with mighty blowers set which actually paid off for him with me uh, getting the perfect defense. If he gets an early touchdown here, I don't really mind, do I? Uh, no, no, not really. I guess he just dodges them all away, yeah. Yeah, he has to, doesn't he? <laughs> he doesn't have any choice. <laughs> He's literally just going to make five three-plus dodges here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he'll probably, he'll probably make all of them. It's, it's not unlikely for him to make all of them, is it? But the thing is, it means I can means I can blitz his thing anyway, so I don't even mind if he makes them all really. Like he's not scoring next turn, so I've got you know a turn to swing around and then a turn to put heat in, so he'll probably score in three. Maybe I didn't need to put so many guard guys on the LOS. Just make every make every fucking roll man. Oh he didn't. Um, yes, but of course, if my if my auntie was my uncle, uh, she'd have a dick or whatever, whatever the saying is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't. I really don't like. I really don't like uh, bribes. I'd rather mount you blow him. I think. So let's go for this one. Yeah, it was a completely pointless GFI, yeah. I should have should have called that out, shouldn't I? Justly punished the uh, point, pointless GFI. Right, let's move these two guys. I don't hate that move there. It, it's kind of like giving away a block. But then on the other hand... One, two, three, four. Um, let's go all the way back. It's kind of giving away a free block, but then on the other hand, it's if he does, then it's, it's committing two players back away from where he wants to be going. Isn't it? Oh, baby. Brutal. That's you sorted right out, mate. Hmm. Seventy-five percent knockdown. No thanks. He's probably lost now. He hasn't lost. Yeah, has he? Of course he hasn't. He's got. He's got loads of turns to make. Mighty blow and panning on hits. Yeah, classic caging on defense. Yeah, I don't. Even, I don't want to smash my two pathetic armor eight guys, do you? Yeah, turn one foul, one one for AV, one for Bright, one for argue the call. Yeah, well, there's no argue the call now, is there? Um, on on Sinai, there's no argue the call. So yeah, I could have. I would have rolled three ones. Out bashing Norse for turn one. Yeah, outrageous. Only thanks to the perfect defense denying him the LOS blocks though. I should have rolled a power on him. That I, I was a basic. Basic blood ball error there, wasn't it? I realise I was stupid then. I should have powered him, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
he's still kind of forced to score though, isn't he? Like he's forced himself to score. Well, no, the perfect defence forced him into this move, which is kind of forcing him to score in three, pretty much. Um, which we're probably both okay with. GFI, don't, don't let the dwarves run around. See, a deserved GFI fail. Don't let the dwarves run all the way around here to hit the ball. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad play. This guy's, this guy's got a great record. But <laughs> he thought he had to guard against the dwarves going, you know, one, two, three, four, <laughs> whatever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI. So that was. That was obviously he was very unlucky to roll that GFI, but on the other hand, he should literally never have made that GFI. Right, can I put a guard guy in there? Yes, I can. That's a nice. That's a nice spot for him, isn't it? I can't surf him because I can't get, well I guess I could, double GFI and uh, 4 plus dodge. Because I, I technically could surf him. Um, but... I don't want him to just get punched, do I? So I hit from here. I can't. St I mean, I could. I could go for the the fucking dodge in and, and another guy and surf him, but it would be a GFI and it would be. I would, I would fail the dodges. I I've got, I can't give up just two dice on the ball here, can I? If I could be serious for a minute. I can re-roll this hit, can't I? Well, the two re-rolls, I guess I can't. Don't have to. Glorious. Glorious. What would she have book to? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Resident Development, yeah. Oh, he's going for the ball in the crowd. Okay, okay, hold on. Interesting. I thought he would. I thought he would have kept the ball in play, but he wanted me to get the ball, and I said, "Okay." If only hadn't moved that guy first, he could have completed the cage corner, couldn't he? Oh, well, never mind. Not bad. <laughs> so, you know, look, so far in this game, he's double wonder GFI that he didn't need to he's wonder GFI that he didn't need to make. Double wonder GFI he didn't make. And sidestep to the sideline where he didn't need to sidestep to the sideline. So although he got really unlucky with with the, you know, the three and eight scatter and where it went. And he got unlucky, obviously rolling rolling three ones on the three GFI rolls. All all of the all of it was avoidable, wasn't it? He's a four plus to two dice the ball here. Um, but you know that was me doing save moves first. If only I hadn't, I could have had him up there. I can't translate any of his things at all. <laughs> Interesting sidestep. <laughs> Interesting suboptimal is the Mr. Nice way to say absolutely shit, yeah, that's true. I think that was high risk. <laughs> Original GFI could maybe found a foul, yeah, maybe, Johanian, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, so the, uh, yeah, absolutely. 
I mean, and he was he was unlucky to roll a one on the GFI and to get get KO'd from it, and he was unlucky to get uh, to roll the double one there, and unlucky to get his guy KO'd, and unlucky to get the scatter where it went. But they were all his choices. They were all his choices. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. The rest of the development. So. This is this is absolutely what I mean. He's twelve and one, so you know he knows. He, he'll know that he shouldn't have done the things that he's done. Um, but this is exactly the sort of what you know why you get the kind of reviews on Steam that you get, where people people are royally pissed off, aren't they? Because they're like this game's stupid. Because um, things happen like that, and it's well, there you go. Maybe I couldn't could have held him back, and then I could have surfed this guy, couldn't I? Don't break down, man. Good. Oh, I can pile on him like shit. He could go there, and I could surf him, couldn't have this guy. On a GFI. Something like that. Yeah, of course he is stuck. He hates Skaven that much, he has to play them off stream. <laughs> and they're so crap that they're, they're all Skaven, <laughs> that the top three are all Skaven teams. <laughs> wow, he's made four GFIs and he filled them all. And again, a GFI that didn't serve any purpose. <laughs> so he is getting royally punished, um, which is pretty glorious. Uh, I could GFI to push him to there, then there. Or GFI there and go there and then surf him. I don't know. Oh, I could blitz him, push him to there and then go here and there and then surf him and block him down. But I just don't have the guys around to do that, really, do I? GFI to surf. A mighty blow guy. Doesn't seem that good, does it? Not when. I can just like play the game. He can two dice him on a blitz, and I can two dice him down. I can protect the ball. But then, where is this guy going to go otherwise? All right. Hmm. Tough. Could go here and then block and then, then see if I need to blitz or not. And I do need to blitz here, so I will prioritize protecting the ball. <laughs> Classic. This is go this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> uh, right. So what does he do there? It's a four plus. Can't come around this side. Dodge through there. One two. Not easy to get the ball here, is it? Could one dice here. Four plus to one dice. Oh no, there's, he's there as well, so it's a bit harder. So it'd be like four plus, three plus to one dice. Could go there and one dice here. Would I have to re-roll it? Maybe. Would shore it up though, wouldn't it? On the other hand, I could go here and run. I don't think that's too weak. He could also two dice him at this point. It wouldn't make too much difference. And surf the blitzer. 
Yeah, you can very easily. That's true. But now, now this dodge is protected. I'd really love to have one dice. Maybe I should have put him there in two dice. Oh, baby. That was pretty safe, wasn't it? I think it's pretty safe now. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Every single mistake is getting punished to the max, yeah. 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 So, like, this is the kind of game where he, he obviously understands that he shouldn't have made the GFIs and he understands that he has been unlucky to be punished but also he shouldn't have done them. Whereas a new player would just be like, this is the biggest load of shit I've ever seen in my life, four ones in a row. And, and should probably just uninstall the game and never play again, wouldn't they? Yeah, so that's, it is a problem with Blood Bowl, isn't it? At the end of the day. I think. Have you seen this Blitz Bowl coming out, which is not Blood Bowl 7s because they couldn't just copy what someone else did, so it's it's Blood Bowl 6s by looking at the picture. Um, yeah, it turns. It's, uh, Jimmy Cam has been back for a while. Back, Been back for a while. Uh, back for a while. Yeah, 40 minute Blitz Bowl edition of Blood Bowl coming out. A 40 minute playing time, six, six aside. I'll link it for you in case you haven't seen it. There you go. There you go. A 40 minute playing time. So that probably, like, you know, they should have thought about doing that for Blood Bowl too, really. You know, trying to make it a bit simpler and quicker and that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely what else could do. Yeah, he's been he's been very incredibly harshly punished, of course. Of course he's been outrageously punished. And the perfect defence wasn't a punish, it was just bad dice, wasn't it? Jimmy, they say that the internet is an ugly place. Then I see your face on stream and... Well, I suppose you get the point. You think they're all wrong, because I'm one handsome bastard and you'd be right. Oh, <laughs> he failed the dodge. Got stunned. Right, I can serve him, but I'm in danger of getting counter serve. Or I could blitz to serve. Um, could I blitz surf this guy? Yes. Yes, and it wouldn't even be hard. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. Push him to there, then block him to there. And be a GFI from him as well, though. And then surf him. That would be really nice. But again, oh, I could blitz here and then block. That would be also be really nice. He could go there and he could block him to free him. He could block him, he could block there then. I think just try to push forward is the, is the play, isn't it? Don't make a GFI. Because um, it's not a good idea, is it, to make GFIs? Because this chap found out. <laughs> Feed of the Cheers, buddy. Right, guard can go in here. And there's no one to assist this block. If I do this one first. Um, I haven't done my blitz here. So I guess he goes here. Alright, now he now he's definitely getting served. When I say definitely, I mean I'm gonna roll it both down. And I try to hit him. Hang on. Gotta go for it, haven't I? He's on my seven.
get the blitz from a better angle though, don't I? Which is good. Didn't even roll the boat down. Outrageous. Surf happened. This this sucks giving up the mighty blow here. But I can just go in here, can't I? That is not a bad place to be. Could just bring him down and two dice that lad instead of trying to dodge away. What can he do? Not a lot. Hit the Palmer is good, isn't it? Fuck off. I would have greeted that if I had three rerolls. Would have greeted it if I had three. But <laughs> it just isn't piling on the dirt player, true. Well, this has been, he's been very unlucky so far. But noth nothing he can't kick himself about. <laughs> well, apart from the perfect defence. Yeah, if I don't pro. <laughs> Now he gets to make a two dice block. Shit. But the frenzy makes it a one dice, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Oh baby, frenzy trap. Now this wasn't bad play, was it? Leaving himself a frenzy trap, he had no choice. Gets looks out of it though. Maybe blitz the piling on again. Rather than this guy, he's not super relevant, is he? Yeah, I would like to have caused some perms. These are nothing because he's got three reserves anyway. Oh, no, two reserves. All right. Run away as fast as your little legs will carry you. Uh. Hmm. I'd like to use the blitz here because I could pa I could jump up block here now, which would be really great. But I should really try to shut him down. He can move up to get him. Which means I guess he could swap places with he could swap places with that guy. So I could put the guard in there. And move this guy around. The jump up block to uh, work. Nope. And now he can block him into this block. Yep. And block him into this block. Still just a three, four plus three plus out. Or I could go there to shut him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Three, three, two, two to one dice. So actually this makes it a four plus three plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, one dice. That's not so good, is it? I could blitz him. GFI. I could actually, because then the, then I don't have to give away a mighty blow hit to two guys. These guys. Terrible, not terrible. 
Yeah, it wasn't that big of a trap. Now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it does feel a bit far, doesn't it? It does feel a bit far, but yeah. Maybe I didn't need to go so far ahead. Maybe I should have uh, tried to keep more of a cage. I felt like I had to push forward as fast as possible, though, just because he was kind of out of position to l allow me to push forward, wasn't he? Um, <laughs> yeah, everyone who plays knows. <laughs> well, it, to be fair, it's, it's he hasn't taken much. He's taken three KOs and a, st and, a, and, a, and a surf, which is hardly anything considering that I've, how I've got f four mighty blow and a piling on mighty blow. That's actually uh, light damage for the Norse. Oh, Aldrea. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Pedro. Out running the cage is <laughs> a real problem there, wasn't it? A real problem. How could I ever cope? I uh, guess I could try and chase them down later. Let's go for this three dice at first. Come on, get a Kaz. Come on, full Jimmy here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, so we want... Two guards there to lock him down. Preferably three. I guess this one doesn't need to be guard. Three guys to shut him down. Two guys to shut him down. He doesn't need to be blitzable. Can only one dice him anyway. So okay. Pick him up. Foul the oath. No, I can't foul. Can chase them down, but I only get one turn to hit them anyway, and it would get it would let them mighty blow somebody, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> yeah, Jihanian, well done. All right, uh, let's just put two guys on him. Jay for Jimmy almost, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. As he's looking at it, it's an L for loser. <laughs> oh god. I wish I should say that to him, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh now it's not now it's not so long there. Um <laughs> Yeah, the F and the U, that was great, wasn't it? The F and the U, holy shit, that was funny. Oh, all three coming back. Lucky Dingo. So, didn't actually beat him up. And, uh, that's disappointing. Didn't forget the score, yes. Go me. <laughs> Very good, El Mato. <laughs> Didn't beat him up yet. No, that's true. And I did beat him up. I mean, th you know, four removals on his drive was obviously very good for the drive. But, um, yeah, still still a lot of work to do in the second half. I, I have been finding offense more difficult than defense with these dwarves. So... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I should call them something like tickle, tickle, push, bounce or something. <laughs> tickle, hug, push could be the uh, could be the team is what it probably should be. Do I blitz this guy because he's he's a pain in the ass. So he goes on the LOS. And he goes here. And he goes there. And gets a little bit weak to a blitz. Maybe I shouldn't put. Maybe I shouldn't stack the LOS so hard. Screw it, if he gets a blitz, I'll just complain. Good, good, good thinking there. Good, that's all right. Let's pawn this piece of shit. <laughs> Buying dogs isn't a good name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dogs. I gotta protect against the dirty player foul here, haven't I? Actually, where is it over there? Maybe I foul the dirty, blitz the dirty player. Actually, yeah, I maybe see. Uh, I don't know. On on one hand, having him in in the in the middle left him safe against a blitz result. I could blitz him there now. Hey, planning on doing doing nothing as as is tradition. <laughs> right, so obviously, I want to put a guy here. He's not going to surf guard of there. He can hold the hold the breadth of the pitch, can't he? And I can bring back a guy near the ball. I mean, he, he can get a foul here, but not many assists. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> no fast Apache. They're, they're, they're a lot of fun when you're winning. They're not so much fun when you get matched against Claw Mighty Blow. But even then, even then I got lucky as all hell against uh, against Pupok, so we're still happy. Shame to do a positional blitz instead of like a killing blitz, but then failed at the killing anyway. So. Could have gotten a three assist. No, he couldn't have got a three assist. Oh yeah, he could have chained that guy. No, he couldn't. He couldn't. He could have only got a one assist foul. So it could have been two assist foul, and it would have been costly to do it as well. It is fun when you're winning, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, some new blood ball, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dwarves are only anti fun when you're playing against them. Really, aren't they? When you're using them, they're a lot of fun, as long as you're winning. <laughs> Could surf that there. Uh, that oof. <laughs> yeah, cover that. <laughs> It's a pretty fun game when you're winning. I don't think dwarves are, are, are really very fun to play against. Though. 
It looks like he is going to hurt Dirt Base, Base, Base. The, uh, the fabled two dice all of my armor seven. Like every every time I play Hope Norse, dark. it's exactly base, the same. They say, uh, here, punch, punch all of my guys. Punch all of my AB7 guys. Oh, he's got a, he's got a fucking guy there. Fuck. I didn't think of that, did I? <laughs> Just like here, <laughs> punch all of my punch all of my AV7 dudes, um, and just get both downs every time, so that you can't make serves. And I'm like, all right, lad, that's what I'll do. Okay, that was a good pile on there. Good pile on is good. Good jump up was good as well. Alright, so now I can blitz this guy. Could blitz him from here and then give him a block as well, couldn't I? Yeah, the, de the Death Roller was a lot of fun when I used the Death Roller, to be fair. He's got dodge out options everywhere, hasn't he, really? It's a, bit, it's a little bit tricky. Not going to lie, I've made it a little bit tricky for myself, especially when I push this guy to here. Nah, it's, it's, that's pretty safe, actually. Right, I won't push him. Where's the, he doesn't have jump up, so if I go here and I get a bolt down, he can just surf this guy. So I have to go in this side or here, and it's pretty hard for him to push in, and also hard for him to surf. I push that guy to there, but if if he pushes him and I get a bolt down, he could blitz him out. So I think he is the safe play, isn't it? Can't make that block. And uh, yeah, just have to think about getting away from him, I guess. Two squares back. And away from him. One more. And away from him. Two more. Really split my team here. Hopefully, next turn I can bring it back together. Hello, Carlson. <laughs> I didn't even see it was Carlson roll that. Yeah, the, the death roller, I've induced it a couple of times, and both times it was incredibly fun. Tickle tractor. Ends up giving him the surf, do I? Wow. Well. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I just followed. What an idiot. Yeah, I shouldn't have followed, should I? Should not have followed then. Wow. Yeah, no, this one. I was thinking about all the ways I couldn't give him the surf, and I just gave him it anyway. Yeah, I shouldn't have followed. But obviously, him surfing, him surfing this guy isn't so bad. But yeah, that was that was poor. Poor to say the least. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, the good thing is now, Calcium, at least it doesn't matter in terms of the tournament. So now it's just literally whatever's best for you two, isn't it? So you guys can just talk it, talk it through, and it's just it's just up to you two to agree, isn't it? Rather than rather than the teams think it's fair or whatever. So that's good. This guy needs to just never GFI again. Everyone needs to not GFI unless they absolutely have to. And even then, you've got to think: Do I really have to and stuff? It's it's it, it, go for it, going for it should not be taken lightly. I tell you, and good stand firms from these guys. Oh, should I have not stood firm? I should have not stood firm. Then it would have been two dice uphill. 
I was, I was honestly, I was distracted then uh, and didn't really think. But never mind. Oh, now this guy can get stuck. Yeah, I shouldn't, should have not stood firm, should I? I didn't even know he was hitting me. I was just wasn't paying attention. That wasn't, uh, wasn't good, was it? He can stand up and jump up, block him. It's pretty good. Great, great, that's just what we need. Right. Block this guy. That's a blitzer down there, isn't it? So I don't wanna, don't wanna follow. Good. Yeah, with Rez, exactly. Yeah, don't the killers. It's it is much easier to recreate the uh, the field position. Yeah, very true. So who blitzes here? Like I could just serve him with blocks. Could go there, block him, block him, and then like no, I can't really blitz him. I'd have to one dice at some point. No, I can't read Blitz in, so... Blitz this fuckhead. I really don't like this guy, do I? He's strength 4, which is... Makes him much more dangerous than, I, than anybody else. In terms of the guard battle. Could blitz and then go around here to two dice in. Got to follow that, haven't I? And then bring him out to save the surf. Save our surfs. One, two, three, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Scary. Yeah, Hippie's playing the 8.30 GMT tonight. <laughs> yeah, Jelly. <-O. laughs> I actually looked at the state. I hadn't looked at the uh I hadn't looked at the state of the player, but yeah, World Sitar score was not easy at all. Not easy at all, because there was a break tackle bull right in front of him, he couldn't really cage. You only have three players to cage with, so and even if he did cage, it's against a break tackle centre. So I, I think it was, um, no, no hard back. It's three and zero to PC, and uh, PS four are therefore four four at the moment, and Xbox were one and nine. Um, but yeah, I did look at it, and it it wasn't really that great for Sitar at all. But having said that, it's better than a straight replay would have been. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's just down to the two people involved isn't it yeah exactly not yet <laughs> yeah may, may well may well but I think setting up seeing as it is really really not easy for him to score I think Probably the best bet is the uh, the setup exactly how it was and try to play it out. One, two, three, four, five. GFI to hit him. I knew I knew he'd run right there, but I mean I can just come up here and, and cage him. 
it's not not so bad is it frenzy trap good good das ist gut uh, yeah but he was 1-0 though the villainic he was winning 1-0 that's the thing so i can see i can see everyone's point of view to be honest Two guys there. I really want to blitz with a troll slayer. That's that's my uh, that's my desire. It's my desire. But calcium, you have to keep in mind that if this was the champs ladder game for five hundred euros, you would have already lost. <laughs> so that's the thing. But yeah, obviously, of course, you don't want to you don't want to draw because you uh, you had a good chance to win for sure. <laughs> yeah, Emperor Augustus. Yeah, yeah. It, it ultimately, it's just down to what what uh, World Sitar and Calcium want to do, isn't it? You know? It doesn't really matter to anyone except those two, and it's it's their time, isn't it? So, like you know, the the cost is the only cost is Calcium and World Sitar's time. So, it's up to them to decide what they what they want to do. Okay, they safe moves. Moderately first. <laughs> Before the, the fateful GFI Dauntless one dice hit. <laughs> oh, no, Dauntless. Ah. Okay, we'll keep it. No, it, re it really only matters to 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 calcium and world Sitar, doesn't it? it doesn't it doesn't matter in terms of any result or anything it's their it's just like their kind of pride and convenience and what have you isn't it no i'm not it's not an excuse i'm just saying it's development it's just i'm not saying that i i've talked it all through yesterday anyway there's there's five possibilities there are literally five possibilities to sort it out and uh, I think giving calcium the loss is the absolute worst possibility. So, but it is it is a possible way of resolving it, isn't it? It is, of course, it is. Maybe there's six possibilities. Thank you, Billy. Yeah, six possibilities. And I think unequivocally, the worst solution is just giving calcium the loss. Yeah. The problem is everything else is like a judgment call or whatever. So it's the easiest rule to make is to just say, like, you know, from Cyanide's point of view, the easiest one is just saying, yeah. isn't meaningful, no. No, but I'm just saying it's not as if like, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, yeah, exactly, it's funny, yeah. No, but do you know what I mean? I'm just saying that's how it goes down. Like, how bad is it? I'm, it's more like how bad is it that of the six solutions, the the one in Champs Ladder is the worst. But then it, it kind of has to be because everything else is a judgment call, isn't it? You know, that is the problem. That is the problem. Every 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 other every other thing is a judgment call, and cyanide are completely unequipped to make that said judgment call. I, I didn't include that possibility, no, Pedro Jack, to be honest. Oh god, I keep saying to be honest again. I didn't think of I didn't cover that. <laughs> Maybe I could have made that three dice. Maybe should have done. Pretty good, it's pretty good just fucking murdering. Murdering a uh, dwarf team. Do I go for the. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I do because I can move the other guy back afterwards, can't I? But on the other hand, I could I could blitz with mighty blow. So I'm I'm just gonna rely on Dauntless again. Like an absolute shitlord. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Valenic, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the reason that I do it is because everyone knows if you take uh, Babes, then you just get everyone cast, right? So if you take an Apple, then everyone gets KO'd. So that's why I do it. Right. Oh, -ho. I nearly didn't do safe moves first there, but then I realised I could just make us a tight cage to, uh, to do it. Mighty Blow, 75% knockdown. Pretty good. This is good, isn't it? What, a, what an easy game this was. And, and finally got the Kaz as well in the second half. Uh, he can blitz somebody. Not that it's super scary. He can make it harder for his twisty twat to get out. Pretty dominating display this, isn't it? Norse getting banged on, yeah, pretty good. Right, can anyone score? A rookie... A rookie lineman? He could go up with 17. No, I think a rookie lineman's probably the better shot. He fouls, I guess. 3-4-5... Two dice him first. I can blitz him anywhere afterwards. So I can blitz him on three dice. Going all in on stupidity here. Got him. But yeah, you, you know, World Sitar was actually far from guaranteed to get to World Town. Two, three, GFI, GFI. I don't, I don't want him to get actually blitzed by the. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want him to get blitzed by the Ulf, do I? I'll GFI him at the end. Fuck him up. It's not that secure though, because he, he can break tackle in as well, can't he? So, I don't think it was that secure, the case that he could have made. Oh, I've probably made it easier when we get out, didn't I? Hey. Right, I probably should have done safe moves first. I can do them now, safe moves last. Classic. The classic safe moves last. <laughs> Put that on the notebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've all done safe moves last at some point in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I will do a pass, because why not? No, I won't. Yeah, I will. That fall would have been a catch, I'll call it anyway. I'll kick his fucking face off. Surely a kill. Good enough. Didn't get sent off though, disappointingly. Uh, I can protect him with him, I guess. Well, this might go. Now, I think I think getting a getting a three on a line is all right. Getting close at more guard, it would actually be stand firm on the on the blitzer's second level. He's probably pretty good, actually. I don't know. He's probably pretty good. Yeah, it does feel like around eighty percent. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's all about pixel looking though, isn't it? It's all about you don't want your fucking players to die, isn't it? Like in Champs Ladder going for the playoffs. You want to keep your team alive, don't you? Like in a game that's, that's already decided, the only thing that matters is your players surviving and getting more star player points. Was it Jellio? Yeah, it was Jellio, people's champ. Well done. <laughs> well done, Jelly Deals. <laughs> poor old, <laughs> poor old Kobolats has played about twenty fucking games without anything, and then, uh, <laughs> and then Jelly will gets in and Reed just gets it is straight good. away. Greed is right. Keeping the sort of Greed game. works. Um, taking towards the players. Well, currently, I'd take the second place Wood Elves. Um. But Spartaco might win and make me play at the last second. And then, you know, I, so I want to make the Dwarf stronger as a second option. Oh God, I'm hungry. Me too. Right, I'll just mute for a few seconds. Glorious, wasn't it? What a glorious game. Actually, the Armour 17 versus the Armour 19. The Armour 19 beat the shit out of the Armour 17. It actually went as it should have done. Obviously, he was hor horrifically unlucky with the uh, with the GFIs that he made. But then, uh, they weren't necessary, were they? So, mm, 51-27 against Armour 7. And it actually, it actually worked. <laughs> Greg's from Britain. <laughs> That's simply not true. Um. So yeah, that was uh, he's up to fifty now. So you know, like this this blitzer can get a touchdown in like maybe it's a harder match. That's what I was thinking. Seeing as I'd completely dominant, I thought getting a long bit touchdown is better in a completely dominant position. Um. Whereas the blitzers can go for one in a, you know, more likely to get one later, and also just could just get a Kaz. He can just get a Kaz as well. He can just get a Kaz now, so that's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, getting there. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.